Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We are a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com and inside this box is something that when I show it to you, you're going to wish, oh, I wish there was an Android smartwatch that same size and shape and the other half of you is going to wish, oh, I wish this thing did what it's doing now, but it was in a watch as huge as the Lympho LEM4 or even LEMT. Well, it's neither. And at the same time, it's pretty cool. This is another true wireless stereo TWS Wear Buds bracelet. We're continuing that series. And look at this thing. Look at this thing. We've seen that before, haven't we? Nice big rectangular thing, huge on your arm, except this time it's shrunken. It's really tiny. And that's okay. It's, uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, I want a watch like this. Well, it is a watch. Okay, we're going to look at it and we're going to get into the detail. But can you imagine a nice little Android smartwatch in this size and shape? And even better, if it had earbuds in it, before I get too far, I want to tell you about this thing because it's a relatively inexpensive compared to the big Android ones. Banggood's bringing it to us. Thank you, Banggood. We've got the Bakey T91. Uh, Big screen, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth call, of course, through the headphones, uh, smartwatch. And basically the whole concept behind all of these is you've got a carrier for earbuds that you can wear on your arm. So you always know where they are and they're easy to get to. And you also have a smartwatch. Usually very limited in scope because it's a, it's a case for the earbuds that happens to tell time, maybe do a few other things. Someday down the road, we might see the true integration of this where you've got or like a sophisticated Android smartwatch and you've got the earbuds as well. That, that's the day. So put it out there. Uh, ask for it. Let's see what these guys can deliver. Here we go. The T91 Bluetooth 5. They're almost all doing that now, which is great. Touch screen. It uses DeFit for the charging app. Here's the languages supported. Bluetooth call is supported, of course, through the earbuds. Um, not through the watch. It's not going to be like a Bluetooth calling Android uh, phone, watch phone thing where you talk through the phone. You'll be talking through the earbuds. You can change watch faces. Uh, all the basic functions are here. Talk for three hours. Use about seven days. Stand by about 15 days. Weight and size. There you go. Let's look a little deeper in here. When we pull the box out, nothing. And then there's the USB cable which is in here. Oh, look at that. We got different earpieces. That's a nice enhancement that you can add to the earbuds themselves. And it's charged using a simple wire with an odd shaped T connector on the end. USB on one end, magnetic magnets are on the inside. Wow, look at that back. That's such a smooth, clean back. Which way do we go? Like that. Wow, this is a weird one, isn't it? It's not a regular dock, but theoretically you could have this thing on. I presume this is up. And, uh, you know, if you really wanted to, you could charge it while you're wearing it. Wrap the thing around your arm and go to a big uh, power bank that you've got in your upper arm. And you could keep this thing uh, charged without even taking it off if you wanted to. Well, before we even pop it out, I'm going to charge it up and get it ready, and then we'll give it a, uh, a walkthrough, see what it can do. Look at it. It is. They're removable bands. I didn't think they were, but kind of sandwiched up in there. Heart rate diode. Interesting. And then each of the earbuds on either side. Sounds like fun. Oh, 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 you're right. I'm sorry. I forgot the manual. I know some of you really, really want the manual. So here we go. There's a, it's in English, of course, thank goodness. And here's the QR code that you would uh, download and some information on doing that. We, wow, got a lot of color pages. So this is what you're going to see on the watch when we get into it. Uh, looks like some nice screens, good bright uh, digits for our uh, readings, heart rate and blood pressure and such. 
We've got a camera control on it as well. You even have sedentary reminders if you want. Okay, here's the headset pairing. And as you know, with all of these, there's two different Bluetooth tetherings you got to do. One is the headset that you pair like you would a normal headset to your phone. And the other is the watch that you pair to the tethering app for transferring all of your um, information. Other side is Chinese. And now we're ready to give it a review. Now, once you've charged it up, and I mean really charged it up because you're not only charging the watch module, but through the watch module, you're charging both of the earbuds. So charge it up, gang, overnight if you can. You got three different batteries you're working on. To actually activate it, you just simply touch the screen and it'll light up to the current watch screen. And then you've got your uh, twist to see the time thing active as well. So I'm gonna pop this on and show it to you because honestly, I think this is a great design. I don't know why nobody else has done this. One thing I don't like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's black barriers around here. So it's a tiny square, but that would be so easily fixable in a little Android watch to make it full width. Ah, uh, just such potential and still have the earbuds on it. But we got what we've got and it's okay. Let me guide you through it. Uh, when I swipe to the left, I can get uh, my last night's sleep time shown or my last step count or a quick training area where you can, uh, you know, get your heartbeat and steps or timed. Uh, on it as well. Any one of these, you tap the upper button, takes you back to time. So that's left and right. It goes the same way. Training that way, sleep that way. There's three other screens besides the time. If I go up or down, I get into another loop. So let's try this. Here, I'm at my very uh, last page because settings is the last one. And here, I get to the first page. You've got training, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen. Then you got your messages, weather that you can set in the app, a uh, remote shutter and remote player. And then you've got find your phone, style, stopwatch, and other. And again, other is your overall settings for mute, brightness. And check this out, brightness. That's like on number two. If I turn it up full brightness, it washes the whole screen out. This is a good bright watch. It's going to be viewable outdoors. I like that factor about it. And again, you've got style down here, which is your watch face. Reset it and power off. And now let's start from the beginning. When I go into training, you've got a few different activities. No GPS, but if I wanted to do running, I'm going to get time, step count, and it looks like distance traveled. I'm not seeing heart rate on here. I can stop that. I could do cycling. There's heart rate on this one uh, and uh, probably calories burned down here. I'm not leaving it long enough to get the actual numbers for you. Walking. Yeah, I, I can't change page, uh, pages. So it looks like walking and running, you're not getting heart rate. That's odd. How about these other things like football? Step count, really? On football? Okay. Badminton? Step count? Really? <sighs> yeah. Oh, there, there. I, I touched it and I got to another page that gave me... Oh, you got to go left, right. Sorry, guys. Okay. So you had step count, distance traveled, and heart rate on these, and I bet we do on walking as well. Heart rate, yeah, yeah, step count and calories burned. So you got the basic stuff on all of these, but it is basic and it's distance is gonna be based on your step count. Heart rate, uh, get into here, I can measure it. And the nice thing about it is you got some really big uh, digits and that's nice especially with a watch that's got the bright light to it so you can see it outdoors. Now, it is taking a bit longer than I'm used to, but it has come up with a reading, and um, it's still working on that reading until eventually it times out. And, of course, all of this stuff can be uh, transferred. They're just vibrated to the app. So you can see it's a yeah, nice, attractive watch. Oh, look at that. We get a little bar chart as well with it. And then the same thing for blood pressure. You can measure it systolic over diastolic and uh, blood oxygen. You can measure and you'll get your uh, blood oxygen using 
I presume green diodes. I don't see any diodes happening there. Oh, and it gave me a reading. Well, that's magic. You guys, if you get this and you have the time, can you test uh, these things out to see if they're accurate or not? When I see things like that, I begin to wonder a little bit. Anyway, we've got messages. Uh, sometimes you have a swipe that'll get them to you, but here you got to get all the way into it. Your weather, uh, degrees Fahrenheit or centigrade, settable and uh, forecast for tomorrow. And sliding that way gets us more. Okay. And then the shutter and the player will tie into your phone uh, and find your phone as well. Now, style is where you can change one of three different faces. If I can get it the right way. Touch it? No? Okay. Well, long touch. No? Okay. <laughs> I think if I'm back here and I long touch, I can... Oh, that just gives me my version information. By the way, there's a firmware update on this. You definitely want to do it for what I'm about to show you in the app. And we'll talk about watch faces from there. And anything else? Uh, stopwatch. Pretty good sized digits. It's going to stop when you leave it so you need to have it always in stopwatch if you want it if i go out of it and come back in it resets itself as most do and a mute a brightness there's your style again reset and power off we saw in the uh, overall settings so let's yeah this just loops to the watch face let's jump over to the app at this point we just did a look at the uh defit app with a uh TWS type of a band, and now we're doing it again. I'm going to jump in here and we'll just look at it quickly. You've got all the canned stuff here, including sleep time, heart rate, blood pressure, and blood oxygen. They're all on here. You got outdoor running because uh, you have that sporting activity. When you jump over to the settings for the watch, you notice they've even got a picture for it. It's definitely integrated with it. And here's the fun part after the firmware update. Uh, in addition to the three faces that you have here that you can actually set by touching here, okay? And this is an editable one, not an edible, an editable one that you can change the picture on if you want to. But now you have more watch faces. And when you get in here, you got two or three hundred. No, not hundred. But you, you got a bunch. Watch, watch carefully. Are you ready? Uh, one thing is they've got the same face in a variety of different colors, which is kind of lame, but you know, it, it's the same style. So you have a fewer number of styles than you have actual watch faces. But look at all of this. Here's a Halloween suite. So they are updating the server to be seasonal. I love that. Uh, that means it's dynamic and live. You've got fun little picture kind. Uh, don't want to download that yet. Um, more here, a nice digital ones. And all of these will work. I'm going to take that one and I'm going to download it. Now, it might take it a little while, so we'll snap to the finished product. Just about done. Boom. And there we go. Got that one on here now. All right. That makes it kind of dressy. And with the red, I, could, of course, could pick a nice red one that integrates more. And you notice that added that one watch face to the list. Now, what we don't know and we're about to find out is can you put more than one? Look at these. You got these, all these different kinds. What do you like? You haven't seen it yet. I know. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah. You like that big one with the red? Okay. We're going to come back to that. I love how you guys participate in my mind. It's so fun. <laughs> I thought I was alone until I discovered YouTube and fans. And now you guys are constantly, Mr. Dix. <laughs> you answer my questions all the time. Where was that one? Yeah. There we go. Going to bring that one in. Three, two, one. Boom. There we go. We are up with a new face. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're fully integrated fashion. We are talking fashion. And, oh, no, it was on that front one, wasn't it? 
Yeah, yeah, we only get one extra spot. So watch face four will be whatever you select from here. Watch face three will be editable with the pictures you want to put on it. And those are your stock analog and digital faces. Not bad, not bad for a little watch that's mostly an earbud carrier and not meant to be so much of a watch. You got alarm shutters, other stuff is in here, 12, 24 hour time, imperial or metric, you got it, all of this stuff. There's your twist your wrist, and you can set it so it doesn't do it at night, so you can sleep with this watch and not have it wake you up flashing. You can set the city you want your temperature in, and the, I mean, this is a really nice, robust app, DaFit. So when you see a watch that uses DaFit for the basic stuff, it's pretty darn good. Over here, you can set your goals and about the watch and so forth. So that's it for the app. Now, I know you guys are interested in the buds. Come here, buds. So you have to you have to pull it out. So you're going to need some fingernails because all I can see, oops, sorry, is right here is the little edge of that. Now, you got two great things going for you. One, it's magnetic. It's held in here solid with a magnet. And two, the little ear cup uh, provides a bit of a suction to it as well. So once you push it in, it's, it's in there, kind of. Same thing on this side. You pull it out. Uh, it's awkward wearing it to get them out. It really honestly is. I haven't found an an easy way reaching over maybe like that so it's not going to be inconspicuous in public when you're trying to take these things out you're going to have to little yeah yeah so what about the buds themselves well okay um first of all uh, they're different design they're kind of an old-fashioned design a deep in your ear with the rubber protectors so they'll fit differently in different ears but they do make a really good seal they work for me they're fine uh, they seal the outside noise completely unlike the other kind of Apple design ones that have all the holes in them at different places for balancing the different uh, frequencies as far as sound quality goes I'm finding it really light on the bass it kind of is like the typical buds you're used to having for mostly answering phone calls. There is some bass there. Um, the music is okay, but kind of tinny. Uh, on a scale of one to five, I'd probably do a two and a half, two to three, somewhere in there. Not much more than that to my tastes. Um, they pair nicely. Uh, they're supposed to be paired automatically to each other. When I first put them on, only the left one worked. And I went through the copious descriptions of uh, what you need to do to pair them. But before I started that, you're supposed to like press them for five seconds to turn them off. And the left one said, turning off. The right one said, turning on. And I went, whoa, okay. So I turned the left one on and it worked. But there's a dance. Make sure you have the manual or read it um, online here to pair them to each other. If they somehow fall out of that, it's a little bit tricky. But normally, you just put them in and uh, pairing them on the phone was easy and they have good range. I walked all around the house, so no problem with that. Um, so all in all, they work well. If you like the watch and you're not a fickler about really uh, deep bass in your music, uh, they'll do you just fine. And because they're magnetic and suction held in, but they're on the ends. And I don't know, you guys can get pretty violent with these things. I'd hate to see these fly off. So watch this. I'm a big fan of electrical tape. In fact, when I went through for my uh, degree in electronic engineering, I had three things with me at all times. A slide rule, a pocket protector, and electrical tape. And it came in so handy, I can't tell you. Use whatever tape you like, but black is good, and electrical tape is fine for that. Take the darn thing and go across your earbud, okay? Get above it and go like that. And do the same thing on the other side, not across the screen, but it's black tape, so nobody's going to see it on the side. Like that. Okay, and wear it that way. Do your do your everything with it, and uh, you're not going to have to worry about accidentally one of these things flying out, being lost, and then you're you're up the creek. Really, yeah. When you need it, it's easy. If you wrapped it a little bit over the edge, you just simply open it 
to there, pull it out, and use it. Or when you're done, put it back in and tape it. That's what I'm doing. You do what you want, but I'm telling you, these things could fly out because there's no click. There's no cover holding them in. So they're a little bit uh, risky. There, I may have saved you your beautiful T91 TWS from being, I, I, I don't know, a third three-letter acronym to give you the safe. <laughs> uh, Banggood. Yes, Banggood is where we get these guys from. And uh, check the show notes for the buying link. Uh, we're looking at 60 bucks. We'll try to get you a discount on that. They're pretty good about giving me a good discount on just about every single thing they send. So I usually within the first two weeks to a month, you can get these at a good discount price. So now's the time to buy if you're interested. Um, in this one, this is a number four, which I think is the red color. You have them different band colors. Uh, and of course, you saw the faces. You can color coordinate any way you like. So have fun, the T91. Uh, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.